Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am inside of my favorite game, Animal Crossing New Horizons. And recently, since today is Christmas, in case you haven't noticed, well, the day that I'm recording it is Christmas, I got a new Animal Crossing New Horizons Nintendo Switch, and it is so fun. But anyways, let's get back to the video. And today's video is going to be five ways to get rich fast in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And it's not that hard to get rich in Animal Crossing New Horizons because you can really sell anything. But I've got quite a few tips for you today. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked this type of video, tell me in the comments like if you want more Animal Crossing videos. And let's get started. Okay, hack number one is selling fruit. Selling fruit is super easy, and you just shake the trees on your island and go sell them to Tom, Tommy and Timmy. But if you don't know how to get fruit, you can collect fruit from your fruit trees that are your native fruit from your island, or you can go to Mystery Islands and collect fruits from there. And also, if you don't know like what fruit would be best to sell, the fruit that is not your native fruit, such as, since my native fruit is oranges, you could um, sell cherries, peaches, pears, apples, but if you have fruit that you want to sell that's your native island fruit, I recommend going to another person's island, because if you sell them at their mm, no, looks cranny yeah i forgot the name and you will get a lot more money than if you would sell your own native fruit to your own store okay let's get into the store hello timmy hello tommy of course what exactly are you offering okay cherries apples and pears let's see continue Look at all the fun things you've brought in today. I'm going to just a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these for me for a total of 7,500 bells. Sold. I just got 7,500 bells just from shaking a few fruit trees on my island. And if you don't have a lot, as much fruit trees as I do, you still get a lot of money. Hack 2 is selling fossils. Selling fossils is super easy to do. All you do have to do to find fossils is just look on your ground and there, like run around your island, see, look on the grass or snow or whatever it is for you and you can find little like starfish looking things in the ground and then you dig those up with a shovel and once you dig those up it will either be a gyroid or a fossil and it is super easy to sell fossils they get you so much money and it is not that hard to get them and it turns out that this is the only fossil spot that I found and it was a gyroid. I literally did not find a single, a single little fossil anywhere on my island. It was so, so, so annoying. I looked all around my island. As you can see, I even looked through my orchard. I went all the way up here. I went all the way over here, all the way up on my small little island. I hopped across these. I went down everywhere. I could not find a single fossil spot. I even went into my house and looked in my storage, and I couldn't find a single fossil. So, turns out, my brother, he, mm, and so I had to get some for my brother. Thank you. And then I didn't dig him up. Well, let's just text, text, test my acting skills. Oh my gosh, a fossil. Let's dig it up. Oh, a fossil. Wow. Let's run over here and see if there's a fossil. Oh, a fossil! Let's dig it up! Um, I apologize for my terrible acting skills. Oh, I think I sense a fossil. Oh, a fossil! Let's dig it up! <gasps> okay. And a fossil! Wow! Let's go! Wow, now there's magically one on my little island! <gasps> now let's dig it up! Yay, a fossil! Okay, now let's head into the museum so we can assess them with blathers. First, you need to assess fossils with blathers. Since I'm in the early game, I don't know if you can assess fossils with blather, blathers when he doesn't have a museum. But I'm, I think you can. So you just need to assess them. 
and he will tell you he won't exactly tell you what they are and i've already got all the fossils in my museum so he won't ask me to donate them and i okay let's get out of here and let's head back out now it's time to sell them to timmy and tommy okay hello timmy welcome I want to sell, of course, what exactly are you offering? Brachial tail, a megalotide, palatial torso, and white cancel wing. Look at all the fun things you brought in today. Let me just a moment to run the numbers, and then I can buy these from you for a total of 20,000 bells. Sound good? Sold. I just got 20,000 bells just from digging up a few fossils on my island. And that, okay, you're just over there. I wondered why you were up there. Anyways. Okay. Now, hack number four is bum 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 Oh, it's hack three. Cooking! Sorry. Um, I loved cooking ever since the new update came out. I've loved it, and I've loved it, and I've loved it. I absolutely... Except, you don't just get it for free. All you can do is you have to buy it from resident services for some nook miles. And that is pretty annoying that you don't just get it for free. And if you don't know how to get the ingredients for cooking... Like flour, sugar, carrots, potatoes, tomatoes. You head over to Leaf at Harv's Island, or sometimes he'll come to your island. You can always get him on Harv's Island, and it'll be a lot easier and faster. And then you can sell, you can buy the starts for them. But sometimes he doesn't. But he doesn't always have different ones, so they might be the same one that you've already have. But that's fine, because at least you get something. And I'd recommend getting them a lot at once so you don't run out of them. Okay, now we're in my kitchen. Let's cook. You can cook with a bunch of different things, like a kitchen island or like a bunch of other kitchen things. I think let's craft some organic bread first. I love the little cooking animation. It's super duper cute and I love it so much. I've cooked so much and there's, there's already an orange smoothie, tomato curry, and bread on my counter. And now, how about some tomato curry? Tomato curry, mm, it's making me so hungry. Oh my gosh, I want to eat it so bad. Well, I can't eat it because, like, it's in a video game, but I don't care. I want to eat it. And you can also cook with the Stonework Kitchen. There's a DIY recipe for a Stonework Kitchen. I don't know how I got it, but you can get a recipe for a Stonework Kitchen. And it's, like, the least expect it's, uh, least expensive way that you can cook. And it only uses like 30 stone and some clay, I think, and iron. Okay, let's make some savory bread. And the Stormwork Kitchen is such a fast and easy way to be able to cook. And it is super easy. And let's cook one more thing. Noche de patate. I don't know how you actually say that, but that's what I said. Noche de patate. Okay. Now let's head out of my kitchen. Okay, now let's go sell this food to Timmy and Tommy. I want to sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? I would like to offer some savory bread, lunch de patate, gratin, tomato curry, and organic bread. Look at this fine selection. Let's see, I'll run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from you for a total of 12,410 bells. See how easy it is just to cook a little bit and get so much. It is so easy. It's practically like they're like giving away money and it's so easy. And hack number four is working with Lottie. Lottie works with the DLC, which you can buy for $25 on the Nintendo eShop. I have loved the DLC ever since it came out. I actually pre-ordered it right when the pre-order came out because I love Animal Crossing. It is my favorite game, and so I just wanted to get the DLC so bad. I saw the Nintendo Direct on it, and I was so, 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 so excited on it, of it, because of it. I'm sorry, my, I can't talk today. And it is super duper easy. All you have to do is you just gotta go work with Lottie. And it is super duper fun and super duper easy. Let's go. Okay, and how you get to the DLC after you've bought it is you talk to Wilmer, is that his name? Yes, no, Orville, Orville, Orville. You talk to Orville, and he and there's an option that says, I want to go to work. And then you click that, and then you come here, this archipelago. And so you head up to the main building, 
I've already done all the facilities and everything, and you don't even need to use them right now, so let's just head into the main building, and hello, Lottie, and with your Pocky that she pays you, she doesn't pay you in dolls, she pays you in Pocky, but with your Pocky, you can buy awesome, cool furniture that she sells sometimes, or once you have bought enough of that furniture from the displays, you can talk to, <coughs> what's his name? I have no idea, but that being, and he will um, help you order things. And you can also transfer Pokey into Bells and Bells into Pokey. And this is a super duper duper easy way to get Pokey. I'm gonna do 10,000, and I just got 32,000 Bells just from transferring some of the Pokey ever in from designing some houses. And that was so easy. And hack number five is selling weeds. Selling weeds is super duper easy, and not only does it clean up your island, but it also helps you get money. And if you just walk around your island, there will probably be a bunch of weeds all over the floor, and you just have to go pick them up, and you can sell them to Timmy and Tommy at Nook's Cranny, but it's not very efficient, because if you sell them to Leaf, like if you get them on Hard's Island, like I've already mentioned, or he comes to your island, you can sell them to him, and he will give you a lot more money than the Nooklings would have, because weeds are not very important to them, but they're very important to Leaf. And now, Leaf, he also offers um, a uh, weeding service. So if you have a lot of weeds on your island and you don't feel like weeding them, he can, you, can have them you can have him weed them for you, and it is so easy. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. But also, if you liked Animal Crossing videos, make sure to tell me in the comments. Bye! <laughs>